Alright, how's it going everybody? Just over Green Money Fab here. So I'm building a trailer for that 330 I just pushed outside. And uh, it's going to be a single axle trailer, narrow width, nothing crazy. Uh, I'm going off of some plans I made on CAD. So for right now, it's going to put you on time lapse and start building it. So that's going to call it for day one. Um, got a good bit of the trailer actually framed out. So got all the cross members welded in. Got the leaf spring stuff just kind of, you know, laid out. I'm going to tack it tomorrow. Same thing with the hitch. So let me take you in for a closer look and I'll show you what's going on. All right. So this is obviously the bottom of the trailer. Um, Especially in a one-man shop like this, it's much easier to build a trailer upside down and then flip it. So this is just some three-inch C-channel, three-sixteenths inch wall. Um, that's where my axle is going to be, so I have a support for each hanger. So that way, any vertical bouncing is going to be kind of spread throughout the load. It's not going to be cantilevered off. My axle is going to sit roughly right here. My firebox is more than likely just going to end up butting up right against this or at least be very damn close. Same thing for the front hanger. That's going to be here. And then obviously this is just going to be one big open area. This, this uh, smoker is not that heavy so I really don't feel the need to lo load this thing up with a bunch of supports. Um, I am going to put one up there across underneath where the actual hitch is going to go give that a little more support and then i may run one perpendicular and kind of split the triangle in half from there to that support but originally i was going to build this smoker on a used trailer and it just didn't wasn't going to work the way i wanted it to uh it would have been much lower quality than i wanted so this is getting a 3500 pound tk axle Electric brakes, it's going to have the breakaway set up, all the trailer lights, all that good stuff. This is getting painted in high temp black. So decent. Let's hope I clear the legs on these things, especially in the back, is more of what I'm concerned about. Alright, we cleared it at 90 degrees. Alright, I say, uh, I think we flipped it. The beauty of doing it this way. Especially with these style pipe stands, is that if the trailer is light enough, you can do this. I would definitely not suggest doing this with one of my 102 wide trailers. Because that would be a nightmare. This trailer probably weighs somewhere in the 200, 300 pound, maybe 400 pound range. So, that's loose. Which means it might be a little more difficult. So now I gotta go up there and do the same thing and hopefully not turn my back out again. Talk about being lonely stupid. I tell you. Alright, so that's really it on this trailer for right now. What I still need to do is obviously it needs to get painted and everything else. I've got to finish weld the tops of everything. 
Gonna blow a couple holes, run some conduit, so that way I have pass-throughs for the wiring. Um, need to cut that front plate off and put my actual hitch coupler on it. Do my hitch, my uh, the trailer jack. And then as far as that goes, the trailer itself is basically done. Uh, it's obviously, it's gotta go for sandblasting still. Um, and it's gotta get like fenders and all that happy horse shit put onto it. That's all easy stuff though. Um, next big thing.